What's going on ladies and gentlemen, Toy Dueler here, and today I'm going to teach you how to get any Pokemon in Pokemon Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire. So a lot of you guys are asking me, Toy Dueler, how'd you get Volcanion, or how'd you get Hoopa? And today, I'm going to teach you how to get any Pokemon, Volcanion, Hoopa, Mew, Celebi, whatever you want, in Pokemon Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire with Power Saves. So Power Saves is basically the Nintendo 3DS equivalent of an action replay cheating device. So the Power Saves can do a lot of things. It could EV train your Pokemon for you, get perfect IVs, make a Pokemon shiny. But today, I'm going to be teaching you how to use it to get any Pokemon. So first off, you're going to need the Power Saves device, and you could easily get that by going to Amazon and buying it for around $20. Now right now it's currently $18, and I bought it when it was $28, so the price does fluctuate, but it should stay around the $20 price range. You could also go to GameStop if you don't want to buy it on Amazon, and they should have it in stock there. So once you have the Power Saves, you're going to want to install it, install all the drivers and everything, and then you're going to take your Pokemon game, and then plug it into the power saves, and let's do that real quick. And we put the game cartridge in, and you'll see that it changes from saying insert game cartridge to show in a little menu. Now when you first get power saves, you're not going to have all these backups here. This is because I've done backups before, because I've had this for a while. But when you first get it, I definitely recommend backing up your game, because you never know what could happen. Sometimes when you use a code, there is a chance your game could be corrupted. It's really low. I've had it happen to me like once, when I used a whole bunch of codes a long time ago. But I'd always back up your game just in case. So I'm just going to call this video backup 2 and it's going to create a backup all right now that our game is backed up let's go to codes now for the first thing that you're going to need to do you're going to want to go to tool item codes and slot one item modifier here you're going to select master ball and this will give you 999 master balls in your item slot one so whatever you have there is going to get deleted so make sure that you don't have an item that you really want put a potion there or something something you could easily replace <laughs> So now you're going to have 999 Master Balls, which is pretty awesome, I must say. But we are going to use those Master Balls for something other than catching Pokemon. So once you have 999 Master Balls, you're not going to do this just yet, but I'm going to teach you what to do just so you know what we're doing, basically. So you're going to go to Fake Wonder Cards, and you're going to look at this, the Wonder Card Pokemon Modifier. Now the reason we have so many Master Balls is because the amount of Master Balls we have is going to be equivalent to the Pokemon we're going to generate. So let's say I want a Volcanion. Volcanion's national Pokédex number is 721. So I would need 721 Poké uh, Master Balls in slot 1. So once I do that, I'm going to use this code. But first off, I need to get the 721 Master Balls. Right now I have 999 Master Balls, which is a little too much. So we're going to go into game and toss out some Master Balls. Alright, so I'm going to put my Omega Ruby back in the DS and let's start that up. But I'm not sure how many 999 Master Balls would be, so I'm going to open up my calculator here. And 999 minus 721. So I need to throw away 278 Master Balls. Alright, so once I get into the game, I'm going to toss out 278 Master Balls. And then I'll be able to go back to Power Saves and generate my Pokemon. So bag... And you see I have 999 Master Balls in slot 1 now, so let's toss those out. 278. There we go. So now I have 721 Master Balls. And I'm going to save my game. And now I'm going to turn off my DS and put my game cartridge back into the power saves. We don't need this calculator anymore, so I'll just get rid of that. Let power saves do its thing, and go to codes. Uh, what am I looking for? Wonder card slot 1, fake wonder cards, and the wonder card Pokemon modifier. Now, if I want a shiny one, I could just use this code, but I just want the regular Volcanion, so I'm going to use this code. So I'll apply that code, and let power saves do its thing. Continue, and just go to any Pokemon center. I'm already in one to save time, and now this lady will be here. And good day. You must be Toy Dooler. I have a mystery gift with your name on it. And awesome, I got my Volcanion. Alright, so let's check it out. And bam, there's our Volcanion. So they give you whatever Pokemon you chose to generate at level 10, and usually it will know hidden power unless it normally can't learn hidden power. 
and all these Pokemon that you generate will be recognized by the game as completely legitimate, so you'll be able to use them in Wi-Fi battles and all that kind of fun stuff, unless they haven't been released, so I'm not sure if you use Hoopa and Volcanion yet, but once they're officially released, you'll be able to use them in Wi-Fi battles. So yeah, that's how you can get any Pokemon in Pokemon Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire. I hope this video helps you out, and if it did, give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more awesome Pokemon videos like this. Thanks for watching, and see you guys next time. Bye bye